Hey, so this video is about how to create a drone shot like this from a simple photograph. First I'll do some basic level correction for the photo. So this effect will work only if you are able to differentiate between foreground, midground and background of the photo. So the photo I'm using I can see many layers of mountain. So what I have to do is cut each mountain layer into a separate layer. In this example I am using lasso tool to make selection. You may use uh, pen tool or any other tool to make selection. What I am doing is selecting first layer of mountain right now which will be closest to the camera or the drone, fake drone. This might seem to be boring but when you see the results they are worth it. So now I have selected my first layer of mountains. I will refine edge a bit more. Photoshop is smart enough to do that. Now moving edge inwards. Ok this seems to be ok. Um, yes. Now we are finally done with the selection. Now I'll right click the image and select layer via copy. Now what this has done, this has created a copy of first layer of mountains in a separate layer. Other than our background image. We'll repeat the procedure with the second layer. Selecting, selecting. And again we'll refine the edges. This need to be done very carefully because this will make our effect look even more realistic or more fake. Again the same thing layer via copy and then now we have two layers of mountain first are foreground then midground we can have multiple midgrounds. Now we are doing selection for the third layer. Again, refine edge. Okay. This need to be refined more, so I'm doing it separately. This time Photoshop wasn't that smart. Again layer via copy. Now we have three layers of mountain. Five layers would be enough for a good drone effect. This time I'm using pen tool. Again selecting a new layer of mountain. Okay, this seems to be perfect. Again layer by a copy so now I have my mountain ranges separated into five layers to have bit more depth in a drone shot we can add some clouds okay so between these two mountain we can add clouds for that I will search clouds on black and these, these seem to be ok copy image new layer paste in new layer we'll change blending mode to screen ok now I'll place my clouds throughout our scene so I think I should divide my clouds into two layers one behind these 
second layer of mountain and another one behind those third layer of mountain that would create even more sense of depth Okay, we have almost placed the clouds at the places. Once we have successfully placed our clouds, next what we have to do is take a brush, reduce its opacity to 1% and paint edges of each of our layers. We are doing this because if we don't do this, there will be alignment issue in After Effects. So this must be done to all the layers. Okay, so yes. Now comes the tricky part. When our camera will move above or it will just rotate here and there. It'll see behind behind these mountains. Like behind the first layer of mountain. So second layer of mountain need to be cloned down a bit. So when a camera is moving it doesn't seem to be fake. Clouds need no changes. We have done for the first layer. Now we have to repeat this process for each and every layer. Like third layer, second layer. Yes. This is the actual thing which makes our camera look like moving a drone. Now for the last layer, what we gonna do, we gonna select the upper part of the last layer and increase whole of its height. It will be no issue if our mountains on our last layer are slightly lower than they were. Ok I believe we are ready to go to After Effects. Then now we are supposed to save our file in PSD format. I am naming it drone 6. I have already made 5 of them. Now we will bring a drone 6 into this project tab. Editable layer style. Ok. Now we will make a new composition. We can't drag a drone 6 composition. Because that's not of a video resolution. That's of a image resolution. We'll bring all our layers into this new composition. Now these layers are not in the proper order as they are supposed to be. We'll check the correct order from Photoshop and arrange our layers into same order as they are supposed to be. Now once we have arranged we have to again change the blending mode of clouds to screen. The clouds were 5 and 6 layers. Right click blending mode. Screen. Ok. Same thing for other layer. Right click blending mode. Screen. Once we have done the blending mode thing, we are going to scale it down to a real composition size there is slight issue in some scaling each frame should be equal now they seem to be equal now we will create a new camera new camera by default settings ok now we will turn our layers into 3d 
so right now what we are seeing is what a camera sees we'll switch it to custom view one now we'll arrange our layers into 3d space according to what they were supposed to be like the closest mountain need to be close closer to the camera and the farthest sky need to be the farthest from the camera we'll move using these x y and z axis tool so we're using the z tool the blue arrow to move it closer to the camera and the distance between the layers should also be according to the distance they actually might be bringing them closer or farther from the camera also changes the scale value so now we'll bring all the layer scale value to a common frame size okay so now scaling them to a common value we are almost reaching to the end once we have scaled them to a common value we are now going to create camera movements which is going to make it appear like a drone effect so now it's up to you how your drone goes So to create a drone effect, we will select the camera, transform and animate point of interest and position. First of all, we will select our initial position. When you rotate this using the camera tools available in After Effects, you will see how it appears to be a real 3D model of the place. So animating our first and last keyframe and we have now almost created a drone effect which looks beautiful. Give it a thumbs up and be the first one in your friends to let them know this can also be done. Thank you.